Welcome back. Well, this April, Texas Forts Trail will be kicking off a series of wine festivals at different locations in the region. The first festival, it's going to be in conjunction, well, with our favorite mud bugs, those crawfish, and cannons at Fort Melknap outside of Graham. So here to tell us more is Owen Miller and Grant Ingram. Welcome, gentlemen, from uh, Breckenridge in Graham, Texas. And you guys are getting ready to kick off a series of festivals, is what you're saying. That's right. Yes, we haven't That's heard right. anything like that in, what, a year at least? <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, once 2020 began, uh, those yeah. types of things paused. <laughs> Came to a screeching halt. But here we are getting ready to launch your first um, wine festival. And what a great way to kick off the season. I mean, two of my favorite things, wine and crawfish, going hand in hand. It's a perfect call. It is. All right. So, what what's prompted this? So, is it something you're bringing back to the table, or something you're really just wanting to ramp up for the region? So, the Texas Fort Show Wine Festival is a brainchild that we developed back in 2019 uh, to give you some feedback or some history on the Texas Fort uh, Trail. Uh, our main focus is to promote economic growth through the lens of heritage and cultural tourism uh, within our 29 county region of Central West Texas. And so as part of that, we were trying to find reoccurring events that we could do to partner with our partner communities. And uh, the Texas Fort Show Wine Festival became that, 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 uh, that event. And we held our first one in Albany in 2019 uh, during Small Business Saturday in yep. conjunction with their Christmas parade. And then we had two scheduled for 2020. Uh, they ended up being canceled. And so this year we have stepped up and we have four on the books. So now we're reoccurring. We're going to make them reoccurring one way or another. Correct. <laughs> we'll exactly. just double up for what we missed last year and we'll make up for lost time. Right, right. So just double the efforts this year. So these wineries, this is in conjunction with, with some regional wineries. And so there's a, a variety that are going to be joining with this as well. That's correct. So uh, we, we try to, to focus on Texas wineries. Ideally, we want to have those wineries within our region of uh, West Central Texas in the big country area. Uh, we typically have between five and seven wineries at each of our wine festivals. All right. So that, again, that's going to be overall, it's going to be four different festivals, five to seven. That's a lot of wineries. Of course, but that seems to be a growing trend in Texas. And of course, we want to keep things in the Lone Star State and we want to continue to promote our own state. That's exactly right. So um, tell us more. So this first one, Right there near your town of Graham. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So we've been holding the crawfish and cannons at Fort Belknap for about four years now. Okay. And uh, this year, of course, with the opening up of, of Texas, we're really excited. We're going to be adding the Goodnight Loving Run, which is a 5K, 10K half marathon. That's going to kick off the day. We're going to start the races with cannons. That's before the wine and That's crawfish. Before. All right, Charles yes, Goodnight would not be very proud of us if so. we didn't make it that far. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, yeah, we could probably get creative with it. But uh, okay. after the run is when the crawfish and cannons events will take place. So Perfect. we've got farmers market vendors, armadillo races, kids activities. The wine festival will be going on under the Grape Arbor, which we're fortunate to have the second largest in the world right there in the complex at Fort Belknap. And we also have a concert by Shane Smith and the Saints. So Very we've got cool. a lot going on. Texas Fun for the whole artists, family. Everything. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. This is what, what a great way to marry two events. A, a new brainchild that didn't get to reoccur, and now it's going to happen in full fruition, along with an event that is known there in the region. And you guys are going to put it all together yes, uh, coming up next month. I can't wait. April 10th. Yeah. You know, right there, it's right after Easter Sunday, right as things are getting warmer. All the people headed to Possum Kingdom. It's the perfect place to meet up in the middle. Absolutely. That's right. You can find more information at crawfishandcannons.com. Okay. And you can buy the tickets to the wine festival, to the, to the event itself, and you can even register for the run if you want. To, to come out and get the 5K, 10K half marathon in. If I wanted to, maybe I'll just sponsor I'll be somewhere. cheering everybody on. <laughs> Last question, what goes best with crawfish? What kind of wine? Whatever you prefer. Any Texas wine. I hear wine. Pinot's pretty good. Very but. good. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, gentlemen. I'll probably see you there in a couple Perfect. of weeks. All right. If you would like to come out for the wine festival, again, it'll be at Fort Beltnap in West Graham. That's in Young County. That event will be on Saturday, April the 10th. The gates are for the crawfish and the cannons open at 1030 in the morning, and the wine festival itself begins at 11. Learn more or get those tickets at crawfishandcannons.com.